I can't play this song on the stream, guys. I'm sorry. It's it's too much kissing in it. What is this song? Well, this is a relaxing. This is a relaxing little tune to put on. Relax now. I can stick this one on a repeat. Now I'm relaxing. Is this, what it, is this what you think it is? It is. It absolutely is what you think it is. <sighs> Make a little bit more money here. What else can I sell on the flea market? That just gets sold the therapist. No, thank you. Thank you, but no thank you. Though it is a good idea, but I just feel like playing this at the moment. Let's sell some vodka. Vodka got really expensive in Tarkov. Everything by the numbers. Relaxing Tarkov is an oxymoron. The only thing not relaxing me right now is having to manage my goddamn stash on the stream. Because I'm like, oh, not interesting. But it's alright, because I never remember this isn't going to be an interesting stream for most of my XCOM lovers, so it's fine. It's all good. I'm actually like ready to go out on a raid, right? Yeah, like I got armor. I got class for armor. I got helmet on. It's really bad armor, but whatever. What's in my thing down here? PP. PP rounds. I got customs keys. I gotta remember like what the what I was doing last time I played this. I got sugar in there. I got out with some sugar apparently. Augmented, get that out of there. I have Vaseline. I need splint. If we can have splint, please. Oh, I have splints up here, okay. I got my extra meds. I don't have a surgery kit. That's fine. Usually I would have like an injector case, which I don't have yet. I would have a splint down here. I guess just a majority of it. Okay, I think I have all the meds I need then. Let me try to do some raids to make some money, I guess. Get this out of here. Does this have anything in it? Yes. We have stuff in here. Ugh, just get it out of my butt. Injector case is now a reward for finishing the chemical quest line of therapist, by the way, but you can still buy it, right? They didn't take it off the traders, did they? Did they? Oh my god, did they? No. Did they really? Can use it or sell for a mill? Oh, it's on the flea market still at least. Please tell me I can get it before doing those quests. That thing is so essential. Yes, okay. It costs a lot, but that's fine. We can still get it. That's fine. As long as we can still get it. BSG Challenge not changing something. Yeah, BSG Challenge are not like making me hate the game. <laughs> Achieved because I'm I'm too broken in by this game. I can't hate it anymore. I think PP stacks to 60, right? Yeah. Okay. I need to go and do some. What are, what are my quests? It's still Bible. The trade is cheaper. Yeah. Maybe I just hadn't unlocked a therapist level for trade yet. What quest do I have here? Do I want to do any of them? Oh, let's accept our random quests. That's right. It's like scav quests now. Find and extract from the raid on any location three times in a row. Find items from the category in one raid. Shotguns. I have to find three shotguns in one raid. And I have to extract the required items from the category shotguns as a scav. I guess. Sure. I mean, you don't get any downside for failing these, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I know they destroyed SR25. I hate it because the RFB can't take a fucking laser in a reasonable way. And the SF25 is my favorite. That's the main thing BSG does that fucks me off is, um, fucking breaks the guns I like all the time. You want me to go to Shoreline 10 times? Fucking eat shit. Or 
Replacing that lowers my trader standing, so fuck that. I guess I'll accept it. Uh, hand over the fan and raider crafted other hunting matches. I probably have some of those, right? I have one set. So I need some more hunting matches for that daily quest. And then just eliminate Skazzle using SMGs. Well, I'm not really doing that. Fuck, replacing just lowers your standing now all the time. Jesus Christ. Fuck that. Yeah, yeah, for real, Michael. Um... Do I not even have Peacekeeper quests yet? Man, I'm I'm further behind and well, not behind, but I'm I I forgot like how early in the wipe I still am here. I haven't even done Peacekeeper quests yet. Um, talk of shooter, meh, meh, meh. This is all pretty meh. Kill PMC operators in the office area, sure later maybe. Let me just look at my tasks menu up here, I guess. I gotta do markers on interchange. No, reserve. Find secure flash drives in a raid. Hand over the flash drives. Yep, okay. I need another one. Let's not compare, let's not compare rears. That's fine. It's not gonna make me feel bad. I've been used to that for years. Um, don't have to censor yourself. Replacing losers is rapid. It's sometimes still worth it because you get it for doing dailies as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, that's fair. Uh, I gotta fix the control board tool set on factory. Maybe I can do that. I wanna make some money first though, so fuck these ones. I wanna like customs quests and shit. Woods isn't bad too. Obtain secure folder 052 and someone kill some woods. I can do that. Um, oh, that's why I haven't got Peacekeeper yet, because I haven't done the stupid uh, flash drive. That makes sense. Eliminate scabs by using medicine, uh huh. Okay, this is all pretty boring, so I'm just gonna do, go to a cash run, I think. Let's go to with my little suppressed AK child here. What's the repair on it? 93. I must have gone through a few raids with this then. It's a surprisingly long lasting AK. Let's go ahead and go to customs. And just like raid some caches, I think. I don't have that cowboy hat and the armor. I mean, I think armor has like, at least in mods, cowboy hats, but uh, basically your overseers are too lame to give it to you, Banzer, that's why. What have I changed my ship to recently? I just changed my laser key. I wonder if that'll come over from SP Tarkov. I, I think you still get banned for like, you'll still get like your Tarkov account banned for playing SP Tarkov on stream, right? I'd love to show you guys my SP Tarkov where like I have everything set up to be really fun. Um, and just like a really good training simulation system, but um, I'm pretty sure you get fucked for it. Because PSG is like, how dare you do that to our game? How dare you mod it? Fuck you, you're banned from online. But then again, I mean, the first time I... Before I even ever got into Tarkov, it was by streaming SP Tarkov, and I never got banned for that, so I don't know. But maybe that was before they started doing it. I don't know. I do have fun, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't replace online Tarkov for me. It's just a fun thing to play on the side. I mean, it literally got me into the game, too. Like, I wouldn't be one of their players, except for SP Tarkov, so... But uh, I, I think they, like, ban you for using it. MJP says, The only guys I know who streamed SP Tarkov just played offline. What do you mean? You, you can only play it offline. It, you can't multiplayer it. You see new Young Skulls drop today? I didn't see that. I didn't see that. Interesting. Elden Ring. Another one. Unlisted even. Oh, you mean like on YouTube? Not actually like Twitch streamed it. No, wait. I'm thinking of Young Maestro. Young Skulls is, um... Uh, the, the, <laughs> the Bethesda, like, Sk uh, Skyrim Elder Scrolls music guy, that's right.
Yeah, we have multiplayer offline now. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I'm not gonna do it today, but it is cool that they added that. Um, MGP says my brain is dented right now. Too much War Thunder. I meant that they played it on Twitch, but unlisted of no game on their stream. Okay. Cool. Yeah, that's cool. I really don't want to get my Tarkov account banned, though, because I can't afford another one, so... I'm probably not going to do it, which is a shame. Because I... Like, it's... it's Like, I hear they just, like, straight up ban your actual Tarkov account if you play SP, which fucking sucks. So you just got to keep it to yourself. Don't you need the Primo version of Tarkov? Yeah, but I, I have that. I have the Escape From version. <laughs> Yeah, I don't- I don't want no trouble. I don't want no trouble, I just want to make some- some cash up here. Yeah, we're spawning in a bush, guys, if you couldn't tell. Oh, what the fuck? How do I know where I am? Oh, but I don't want no trouble. Oh, fuck this. This is not a spawn you get- you- you use if you don't want no trouble. This is- this is the spawn of trouble. For a second because like there's like no good way to cross this without like fucking dying like it's just like rolling a dice whether one of the players who's crossing with you just fucking kills you so i'm just gonna wait like a couple minutes what's happening the bit right what what oh it's like it's not looking good Are we having the super people problem at least unlike super people, I can actually go into offline to fix this, but, um... It's so saturated. No, no, that's not the bitrate, that's just my post-processing on. There's, like, people are like, oh, there's some reshit on Beagle, oh. No, it's just my post-processing features are, like, fucking jacked to hell. It's just, like, a high-contrast post-processing that helps spot people, that's all. You're moving through the bushes, the bitrate went insane. Yeah, all I care about is if, like, the bitrate is, is, like, smushing the fucking stream up. Dr. Danger says, I'm so used to seeing over-easy eggs as colorblind mode, so this seems normal. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I've got, like, basically, like, colorblind mode post-processing on. I mean, I've kind of got used to it, too. I wouldn't even have thought about it if you guys hadn't said anything. Okay, hopefully I can cross now. I haven't played live MP Tarkov in a while. Ugh! I hope I don't die. But I guess I also don't care. I kind of care. Oh, shit. You see Marauders? Yeah, I don't really like... I don't really like the, the style of it, where it's like World War One trench cutting. I'm not really into that shit. You know, people who like Krieg in Warhammer, I don't like Krieg. Like, I think they're fine, but it's like, it's not my aesthetic, you know? But some people, like, love that shit. Some people are like, oh my god, I love pickle halves. Pickle houses, or whatever the fuck they you pronounce them. I don't even know how to pronounce them, because that's how little I give a shit about them. I don't care about that shit. Interesting. A player trying to kill me, I think. Okay, so are they gonna come in behind me? Has there ever been semi dead and talk about it to me? Oh, god, fuck. Everything by the numbers. I selected screams, we bought a bunch of pre made assets and used them to make a game. It does kind of feel like that, I'd agree. 
I have no grenades. Remember, I don't want trouble. I don't want trouble. I want to run away from- ah! I was just staring at me. I have been PvP'd in the head. Did I do any damage to you? I hit you six times. Oh, I almost killed you. You're very low. Oh, why did I just pay with therapist? Uber chat. No, they weren't in Uber chat. I was painting them with PvP. I mean, with PP, so. <laughs> They're just a person. They were just a person. I don't know how they got there without me hearing them, but they were just a person. Yeah, PP is like a pretty intermediate round, so if I'm painting them with PP, they were not a Chad. No, they just hit me in the face with an SMG. It's okay, because every time we die, it clears my stash up, and that is awesome. Though I might have to, like, do I have the money to even use guns right now? Well, let's use the gear I have. Boom, boom, boom. Rather than worrying about going bankrupt, you can't go bankrupt in Tarkov, because you can just do, like, knife runs and make money. There's no such thing as going bankrupt, so let's just buy shit. Um, well, I'm going to put all my meds. I'm going to put all my meds down in my stashy here, so that I don't have to worry about, like, remedding. Just to speed up in between time. I'm gonna put that there. I'm gonna bring like, like a little flashy. Uh, is this fine? This is fine. I'm not familiar with Taco, but does it have an end goal? Not really. Um, armor, blah blah blah. I need goggles. I don't really need them, but it's good to have goggles. I need a gun. So I want like an AK-74. We're gonna use more PPAKs. If I really didn't want trouble, I could take a pistol, but again, like, we're not gonna worry too much about that. That's like if I really wanted to go cheap. I want a cheap AK though. Where's the real cheap AKs? Where's the 20k AKs out? AKs are fucking expensive now, what the hell? There's an AK-105, but AK-105 is dog shit, I'm sorry. Where's the AKS? AK-74N, where's the AKSs? Those things are cheap as hell, where are they? Exclude bartering offers. Just wondering what headphones you use from the old ones. It looks like Hi-Fi Man ones. It's uh, Sennheiser 515s, HD 515s, and I've used them for like 10 years, straight up. Typed AK, not AKS. Oh, AKS goes before the dash. Oh. You know what? Just go like this. Uh, not AKM. I want the 545s. There we go. There's our cheap AKs. That's what we want. We want these cheapest chips ones, not these. Okay, so it looks like AKS 74 is the one I want. Cheapest. Well, that one's fucked. Okay, you're selling one that's fucked there. Fuck you. This one's what I want. Do I have the workshop? I do, okay. And then let's just go like... What can I do? Should I buy a suppressor? I don't think so. What's like a, a cheap... Cheapest possible but still kind of effective AK build? Um, well, obviously the butt pad goes on. We don't touch the magazine, that's fine. Leave that as is. We, we probably don't bother with the grip unless we put a suppressor on. Um, don't bother any of that shit. I need a front thing. This is really cheap, right? Yeah. Can I get like a bit less cheap than that? Can I get like a, a CAA RS-47, I believe, is the cheap, cheap eco uh, front handgun I want. And I want to put on like one of these AFGs. They're also cheap. Bomb. 
I want to take this off and put the, what is that? I want to put the Bastion on. So take off the rear sight so we can apply the Bastion. Put the Bastion on, which also lowers recoil. Just a little bit. Let me put it on whatever sight we want. I want a, probably the most expensive place I'm going to go to now is the EOTech. I never used to use these things because, like, they took up too much screen real estate compared to, like, the Walther MRS. And that's why in most games I do just use this site because it's got, like, it, it takes up much less screen real estate. You can see shit better. But the thing in Tarkov is that, like, it bounces around a lot more. Like, the EOTechs are actually, like, a lot more... Specifically, we're going to use the 503, I think, because it's the cheapest. The EOTechs are actually, like, a lot more stable when you shoot. It's, like, less camera recoil. And camera recoil is, like, a big thing that makes these guns unfucking usable So, we're going to use that. What's your opinion on the UH-1 Hollow? It's weird, and I don't like to use it. Um, I don't have much of a, an informed opinion for you, because I just never really use it, though. Uh, I think the Boulder Pro is really cheap now, so I'll buy that. I like it better than the EOTech. Yeah, I, I'm still new to using, like, big bricky sites, though. Like, before this, I've always been using sites to, like, take up as little of the screen as possible so I can see as much as possible when I'm holding, like, the sides up. Uh, but I'm, like, kind of, like, not doing that as much now. Maybe I'll still put a suppressor on it. It's, like, not too expensive, and it is really good for, like... It, it is really good for, like, uh, staying... Staying hidden. Being a little scav rat. Uh, which one is the best here? I think the PBS is like cheapest. It's not like super eco, but I mean, if you're not using a pistol, you're not being super eco anyway. Uh, and then speaking of, now we need to put a grip on to put the ergonomics back up so that we sight quickly enough. So I will put on a... What's the cheap one again? I think it's the, the saw grip, right? So this should be like, what, like 60, 70k or something, I don't know talking at my ass. Let's see, if I buy parts, it's like 82k. It's because the EOTech is so expensive, and because the suppressor is quite expensive. I bet I can get a cheaper suppressor than that, though. That, um, that AFG is also really expensive, too. That's way more expensive than I thought. I guess I haven't unlocked getting these for cheap yet. This stuff's cheap, though. So go backwards, and let's change it up. And let's instead try one of the other suppressors. And what else is really expensive? This. Um, that's fine. Leave that on because that is always going to be expensive. Those sites are always expensive. You kind of have to manually find which AFG is the cheap one. Do they? Well, no. You usually you unlock like you unlock Peacekeeper just selling them to you for kind of cheap. Um, it's not the Olive Drab one though. I can tell you that. It's definitely not the black one. What comparable shit do I have at this level? It's because I haven't unlocked my traders yet. I haven't got my traders higher level. I think RVG Black, maybe I have that. Nope. Oh, also, that suppressor is not cheaper. Good to know. Try the hexagon, and then... What do you got, like, RK5? SE5, where's the, uh, where's the Ogo Grip? It's the stupid little Cobra thing. I don't think I even have it unlocked. Oh, there it is, Cobra. I saw Cobra. How much is this? Just an ergo grip. Uh, it's fucking expensive as hell. And that's expensive as hell too, okay. What if I wanted to use this for a minus recoil? And then for grips, we can instead try... What else is there left to try? I'm just trying to find one in this really roundabout way that the traders can offer me. Okay, that thing's still about as expensive as a suppressor. Not much of a saving. Skip from Shukum Hala Kamala. Thank you for subbing. All of these grips fucking suck. I guess I'll just pay for the, the 10 one. Fuck it. You, uh, for less than optimized rifles, you prefer the Cac Vichy for pure ergo? Yeah. I mean, I, 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 I do agree. How cheap is the Cac? It's like 5k, right? It's so cheap, yeah. It's like 5k. And it is true. Like, we're not getting the recoil down very low on this thing anyway. You're gonna have to crouch to get this thing to be meaningful anyway. 
especially if we use a suppressor. I don't know if I'll bother using a suppressor in this case. Like, I'm probably not going to be taking out, like, probably not going to be doing, like, crazy suppressed duo man slain of this. I just want, like, a slug thrower. Should I hit about 50 ergo? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been learning that ergo actually matters to me a lot lately. This is probably, like, as cheap as it's going to get to me and be effective. Like, maybe take the flashlight and turn it into a... TBL to save even more money. And let's go like let's go like economy. It's the economy, stupid. I could even cut off the RS-47 and just put on like a, a laser instead, just not even bother with the this grip for the Ergo. But it is kind of nice to have that Ergo grip. Okay, like this this like works, right? This is, like, not great. It's not a great build, but it'll work. Weight matters the most. Ah, oh, yeah, that's a good point, too. Weight weight changes your ADS speed a lot. I forgot about that. This is, like, 70k for this gun. Plus 90k. This doesn't feel like a gun that's worth 90k. Because <laughs> this thing goes up. Alright, take this thing off, too. I guess put the suppressor back on if you're going to buy something. Does weight decrease recoil though? Uh, no, I think weight just like lowers your ogre basically, is a way to look it up. Suppressor is definitely like one of the most expensive parts of this gun. I could just like leave the basic. There's no like, there's no like cheap, where's, where's the cheap AK muzzle? Have I not unlocked a cheap AK muzzle yet? I don't think so. If it's not going to be, if it's not going to be from a trader, it's not going to be cheap. Doesn't look like I've unlocked anything. So that's probably coming soon for me, right? Oh no, there we go. It's this one. I always think this one is more expensive than it is. It's this one from Skier. It's the cheap one. It's, it's 5k. Okay, there you go. 6k Bastion dust cover. These parts are all pretty cheap now. I could even take off this handguard and make it even cheaper. But you're only saving like 5k there. At this point, probably just... This is fine. It's like a 70k gun now. That's kind of fine, I think. It's not bad. And I'm sure it'll like run fine. Let's buy a couple of magazines for it and fill it with cheap PP ammo. I don't even want to be fighting. Oh, but for some crazy shit, I want to get this Agolnik out of my inventory. So just put, <laughs> just load up with a Agolnik, by the way. <laughs> Let's go. Agolnik in this AK is so gross, but you can't flea market the good ammo anymore. So fuck it, you may as well use it, right? Get like one flashbang. And now I think I'm ready to go. Again. I want to go. I don't want to sit and like making this shit forever, you know? Back to customs. I was going to go try it in the shooting range, but I don't have a shooting range. But what I can do is... Hang on. Ah, stop loading. What I can do is do the real shooting range, which is an offline factory raid. <laughs> Practice mode. Enable PvE, high amount of AI. And I can just empty my three mags real quick and just learn how the gun performs. But I think I know how this should perform. I'm gonna have to crouch to burst this thing at anything beyond uh, short range. But I wanna see if I can tap fire and I wanna see what the muzzle flash is gonna be like without a suppressor. That person surprised me. That scab, I mean. Oh. 
Сейчас он Вот он! We can tap fire this. We can tap fire. I've been getting into tap firing lately offline. And tap firing is like a really good way to get more performance out of a lot of these guns I've, I've learned. Also use less ammo, which is good. So I just want to like get used to the tap firing. I should have just brought more ammo so I could really get used to it. Because the spray is with a gun that is this poorly like modded. Well, not poorly, but like this this inexpensively modded are going to be terrible. It's up above me. Did they just take breach room? No. That's downstairs, that's bottom floor. Can't really spray with stock guns anymore, yeah. Yeah, that's what it bumps, yeah. Well, I never thought tap firing was good until I tried it offline, and yeah, actually turns out tap firing is incredibly good. It's just, it's just bursting. You just can't burst in this game. But you can full auto and you can tap, but you can't do anything in between. You can't really burst. That's what I've been learning. Fuck is the motherfucker who did a kick? It must be kicked in here. What the fuck? Where did you kick it? Oh. Ah. Hello, Emma. Oh shit. Out of ammo again. Okay, I'm out of ammo. So. I'm literally out of ammo. Spinnaker says, for almost seven years, I've given you $5 a month. That means we're close personal friends and obviously invite me to your money. 83 month sub. Thank you very much, Nick Spinnaker, for the 83 month sub. Very kind of you. I will invite you to my home where you will, uh, you, you will, you will do what? What will you do there? Will you cook for me? Will you help me clean up? Will you walk my dogs? What will you do? Anyway, I'm happy to use this gun now, I think. Just, I gotta not spray. I gotta tap, 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 Like last time, that last guy I probably should have. Because I couldn't have crouched properly against that last guy. I should have been like tapping. So it gives you $5 a month there? Nice. Beagle's describing a maid? Yeah, but a maid that pays me is what I'm talking about. Not the other way around. Pocketboy says, excuse me, I can walk your dogs for $5 a month. Yeah, would you like that? You pay me $5 a month. Forgotten Reaper said, exclamation mark, where taco? Thank you. I thought the TTS was supposed to be on for subs, or is it only $5 donations? It's $5 donations and above. Um, I thought about putting it on for everything, but I thought, you know what? No, I'm finally going to incentivize people. We can go on a raid now. I'm finally going to incentivize people to donate the most, because I'm going broke, um, as I always complain about. And you know what? Twitch takes a fucking massive cut of everything that isn't a PayPal donation. Like, just fucking massive. Like... Like, just for the standard... Doesn't Jeff steal half of that $5? Yeah, Jeffrey Bez, yeah. Yeah, just for, like, a standard Twitch contract, it's half, 50-50, as was very publicly explained by them recently, um, when they lowered top streamers' special contracts that were 70-30 back to 50-50. So $2.50 of a $5 sub is just gone. That's not for me. So when you, sub, when you pay $5 to subscribe to me, I only get $2.50, and then also after tax, obviously. So in the end... Um, yeah, they're taking, like, they're taking half, taking a huge cut. So if I, you know, if I stream, I don't know what I'm saying, if, you know, it's not hypothetical. When I stream and I have, you know, because a top streamer, no, I'm just saying that happened for top streamers. 
Um, when I stream and, you know, I have like, you know, 500 subs or 600 subs or something, um, you know, half of that money, straight up fucking half of that money, I just never see, because that's Twitch's money now. Um, there has to be a better way, right, Beagle? Well, there literally is, donations. Donations Twitch does not get any hands on. Uh, and that's why um, Twitch in invented bits, pennies, because they were like, yo, we're getting half of your sub money and money from ads that people watch by watching you, but you're getting a lot of money for free that we're not getting to take any of. This is bullshit. And then they invented bits a couple of years ago, however long ago it was, a few years ago now. Um, because then bits are basically just lump sum donations, but you buy the gems from Twitch and they get a cut. Um, though I guess at least with bits, like, at least with bits, like, they don't... With bits, it doesn't work like, as far as I know anyway, you know, you, they take cuts out of the bits given to you. It's just that that automatically happens. Like, the conversion rate is like if you buy $100 of, of bits and you give all those bits to the streamer, you know, that's like $70 worth of bits or something, right? But yeah, the way around this is stuff like PayPal and Patreon. Because, and you know, I've never really made a big deal out of it before. Um, because, you know, people want to sub more. It's your money, you know, and that's what I've always said. It's your money, so if you want to sub more, you want to donate, I mean, you get stuff for that. You get subscriptions and stuff. Cool, cool. You know, one of the main things about subscribing, I think, was originally meant to be that you didn't see ads, but I never run ads anyway. Um, but yeah, like, you get the cool emotes to play with. But, especially with, like, gift subbing now being a big thing too, where it's like, people will dump, like, you know, 50, 50 community gift subs, or stuff like that, or 100 community gift subs, and that's, like, that's become, like, the de facto way to, like, dump your your money on a channel because um while well, you're giving other people subs to it's more fun but it's just unfortunate that like half of those like big lump sums of money just go straight to twitch um it's definitely getting to the point for me where like it's actually like the difference between poverty or not so that's why this is a very long-winded way to explain um this is why i'm having a mental break day today because my mind is not on it's a very long-winded way to explain that <laughs> i'm incentivizing paypal donations by leaving the italian funny man voice on for donations only, yes. <laughs> that was like a very roundabout way for me to explain that. I went all over the place. WhiskeyZ says, Beagle, I 100% see ads in your channel when I'm not subscribed. You mean when you first arrive? Twitch dumps ads on all channels now? It's pretty shit. Well, I know it's always when you first arrive. That's been a thing for a while. This is a live raid. I gotta remember. Let's try not to die again. Um, I hope I don't get the same spawn. It's, when you first arrive, you get played an ad, like, clicking on YouTube. Yeah, I, I have nothing to do with that. I don't even know if I get money for that, honestly. I actually do not know. Where am I? Oh, shit, I'm here. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit, fuck. Okay, over here. Yeah, I have nothing to do with that. That's just automatic from Twitch. I don't, I don't run those. I don't even know if I get paid for them. I don't think I get paid for those. So if you're like not ad blocking for me, I don't think I can talk about ad block actually, right? I'm not actually allowed to talk about that. Commander, Probably. Requesting your attention. <gasps> DRDNGR is just the tip the cinque dollari. Keep your hands off of this Bezos. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Dr. Danger, for the $5 donation. I appreciate it. It's so much better. It's so much better when that voice reads it out than me, I think. Thank you, I appreciate it. We're gonna have a little wander around here looking for, for caches. It was so worth it, I'm glad. I'm very glad to hear it. Maybe I should just do my old trick of like hiding in a bush for the first five minutes of a raid. It's actually, it's actually not a bad idea. Let's just like get in here. Let's just chill out. Well, this is a shit place to sit. Hang on, move up more. Not for the first five minutes, but just like for the first minute. I want to see if anyone comes down here. Because I'm going to loot some caches around here, but I just want to see if anybody's going to walk around here. No one should be, right? Like, who the fuck would be walking here? It doesn't make any sense. But I'll just wait till uh, 37, and then we'll go get the cache that's over there. And then we'll come back for the one that's to my right. Maybe we'll go to the spawn, actually. We'll get the ones at the spawn. Can I just mail you $5 USD instead? I would have to give you my address for that, so I'm afraid not. Someone else for a night's stroll might be seen here? Yeah. 
much, I guess. Man, what's my inspect here again? I can't remember. Is it all L? No, all L. I gotta remember my inspect key so I can hit it to uh, unsight while I'm prone without making noise. Aren't servers in Australia just basically dead? No, I mean, I don't know. I haven't played live taco for ages, but I've never played taco where the servers were dead. That's never happened for me. Like, like as in like maybe one or two raids, but like never as like a trend. No, that's never happened for me. But I don't know, I haven't played life, so we'll see. Okay, we're gonna move. Doesn't look like anybody's around unless they're camping too, but then who cares? You can't live your life in a bubble. <gasps> Holy shit! XX K420 XX said just tip 100 dollars. Fuck Bezos and HIS giant Felix Spaceship. Oh, cliche, thank you for the hundred dollars, I appreciate it. Fuck, but I'm glad, you know, the Italian man said it, not me. Thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Britannia has just tipped 5 dollars. You're a slave to history. Even after calamity, you fight against the only order that can guarantee the safety of your people. What? You, Soleili, are responsible for this. Thank you very much, Cliché, for the massive $100 donation. I appreciate it a lot. It actually significantly fucking bails me out. Thank you so much. Helps a ton. Thank you to Brit for the $5 donation as well. It took me a while to figure out what that was. Thank you, Sci-Fi. Shifmatic has just tipped 5 dollars. Better than a cup of coffee. Thank you very much. Can you guys remind me? I've got to put on... I've got to figure out why it's not doing the text. After this. You guys are getting scammed. It's not showing your text on screen. So that people can tell what the fuck is going on, because that's important with the Italian- ah, 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 ah. Important with the Italian voice, too. Thank you very much, I appreciate that a lot, guys. What the fuck is this? Get rid of this shit. Can I get my, my stamina back? Thank you for the big donations, uh, cliche. Appreciate it a lot. Thank you as well for the $5 donations, guys. I appreciate them. They're a big deal, thank you. Oh, we're gonna die. No, I'm good. I think I saw the text for a bigger donation. Maybe I just got, like, got it set up on my screen in the wrong way. I'm not gonna get that cage behind me, because that feels like the best way to die. I'm gonna get the ones over here instead. The only person who should be here right now would be, like, if you're extracting already, but who would be here in five minutes? No one would be here extracting, like, by five minutes. That's crazy. It's crazy, especially not an Australian, like, maybe an American, but there's definitely no way an Australian would be that good at the game. We're notably terrible. Yeah, remind me after this chat. Oh, it's a free RFB for you, Gem. Cool. Isn't there, like, two caches here? Isn't it, like, crazy like that? No, it's just the one, actually. Okay, so now I want to get out of the way of people who are going to start showing up to extract from here, I guess. So I want to go back this way. They increased ping limits to 200. I think so, Kelly, back in the menu. What? Wait, do you have a source on that? Did they really increase the ping limit to 200? I can play with so many of my friends if that's true. Please confirm. I would love to play with more of my friends. Like, I could play with Sammy then, I think. I thought maybe I heard someone's feet, but I'm not sure. Probably what I should do is go back in the woods. And yet I'm here. This is like the wrong place for me to be. Let's go back to the woods. Hey, Whip, thank you. Hey, Whip, I've seen you had like a big like milestone thing you've done recently too in your personal life, which I'm not going to say here. 
Um, but on, and I just want to say congratulations on that, by the way. Or is congratulations the right word? Like, my, my support to you. Sorry, my brain's really broken today. But, um, I, I, I forget if you said, but I hope it went well. And I hope you're doing good. If you know what I'm talking about. Hope you're having a good one, Whip. Ugh, oh, scabs. Let's go see the- let's go see the sca oh, scab! Oh shit! Oh, no! Going great, but I imagine that is so awesome to hear. Honestly, I'm so glad to hear that. The council is requesting your attention. Thank you, Tigo. If you tell me, is just a tip to 10 dollars. Can the spaghetti is an abomination? Mamma mia. Thank you for the 10 dollar donation. Where the fuck? What? Thank you for the 10 dollar donation. Where did this? Oh, fuck you. What? The fuck? This game is relaxing, though. Apachki! <laughs> Apachki! This why I need a suppressor, because now I feel so naked, like everyone heard that. Which they did. I should- I should- I should splurge for a suppressor. I should go with the extra, like, 15k, you know? I should do that. That's it. Next AK, I'm gonna put a suppressor on up. I just gotta remember though, like, no one's watching me. Like, I'm always, like, playing bad in Tarkov the most when I'm, like, unnecessarily anxious, like, I'm gonna die at any second. Because that, like, really puts you off for, like, how you play. It makes you, like, feel too risk averse and scared. It makes you a little snail baby. And it's just important to remember that. I don't know. I was actually gonna do, like. I was gonna shit on myself for that joke, but I felt like that might be uncomfortable for people. Someone? Maybe I don't. Maybe I hear myself. Okay, like my joke was I was just gonna say, just like my Twitch stream, no one's watching. We're gonna put that to the test. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to loot this and see if anyone kills me. It's a win win because if I, if I live, I live. And if I die, I'm popular. You get it? Oh, they're behind me. I hear them. Holy fuck. I hear one. I swear there's someone right there. No, I'm insane. I'm absolutely insane. There's no one there. Are we sure? There's no one here. There's no one here. I'm crazy. I'm losing my mind. It's my adoring fans. Yeah, that's like a good way to think of Tarkov. It's like, every time you die, it's because you're so popular and successful that your fans have hunted you down again. You've got like a whole like yander. Yander, like, uh, streaming fanbase, you know what I mean? Every time you die in Tarkov, it's a good thing, because it's like, oh my god, it's proof you're so popular. But every time you live, you get to get out with your shit. So it's like a win-win-win, you know? It's, it's, it's all wins. Yep! There's one of my fans! That was the person I heard, too, I swear. I never saw them. I never saw them. I have no idea. Maybe it wasn't. Maybe it was just some other. I, like, I ran around there. They didn't shoot me. It was probably just someone just came up. Bad timing. That area is like high traffic. I got P90'd. But that's a good thing, right? Like, that's, that's one of my fans just found me. I'm so popular. That's good. A kill cam would be nice for closure. Tarkov does not do things like that. Thank you very much again for the uh, ten dollar donation, T Goat. Should I read the messages out myself as well, um, just in case you can't understand the Italian? Oh, that's right. I have to put the text up on screen to fix this. Yeah, it was nice of me to give a fan all that loot. I agree. I am a nice person. 
That's a fucking lie. I can be a nice person. I have the capability to be nice. Let me go to Streamlabs. And let me try and make it so the tech shows up. Let me log in. Because we're going to make sure... Thank goodness that I have the Italian on. So that we don't miss any important announcements. But I'm going to make sure... Make sure that your wonderful donations have their messages shown. So I'm going to do some test donations here, so don't be alarmed. These are tests. Commander, the council is requesting your attention. Okay, what? John has just tipped 56 dollars. This is a test donation for 56 dollars. So it comes up there. Commander, the council is requesting your attention. And again. John has just tipped I'm sorry for the Italian dollari. spam right now. This is a test donation for 40 dollars. Council is requesting your attention. Maybe it is coming John up, but it's just going away too quick, and I'm not noticing. Dollari. Is the text coming this up, guys? This is a test donation for 36 dollars. Scabbing for money is pretty chill. Yeah, I can scab for some money too. That's a good idea. Oh, the text is coming up. Oh, okay, thanks. Thanks, guys. Um, let me just leave the text on then. Okay. I want to just have the text stay up for longer. Donator message settings. Um... Can I just have it last longer, please? Show message enabled. Allow Twitch emotes? Yes. Minimum amount to show? 15. The smallest a donation can be for, for the donation message be shown. Oh, let's turn that down. That's probably the problem. Let's turn it down to 5. Just like the text of speech. So for $5, the, the message comes up. Under $5, it doesn't. And I put that in because if you ever wonder why that's the case, it's because a long time ago, playing XCOM 2, I had it down to like the minimum, which was like $2. And someone was using it at $2 a pop to just have a conversation with me on stream. <laughs> and uh, because of that person, I had to put the minimum up. To be like, well, if you're going to do this, I'm going to have to make more money off of it. <laughs> God, I remember that. Yeah, do you remember that? That was like the same as like the XCOM 2 Gavin stream, I think. You remember that? Yeah, look at you. Look at you old chatters. Commander, the council is requesting your attention. Oh, thank you very much, Dr. Danger. Not a test. DR DNGR has just tipped 5 dollars. This is a test donation for 5 dollars. Thank you very much, Dr. Danger. You fucking freaked me out by doing that. Text didn't show up. Why didn't... Oh, yeah, because I hadn't saved it yet. I hadn't saved it yet, gang. I hadn't saved it yet. I hadn't clicked save. But thank you for the... 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 the cinco dollars? I'm gonna learn Italian. Thank you for the cinco dollars, uh, Dr. Danger. I appreciate that very much. Thank you so much. Thank you, Lucky, for the 37 sub as well. Appreciate that, Dr. Danger. Thank you for the test. Um, I can't make your guys' stuff hang on longer, I don't think. Maybe if I do it like this. Hang on. Alert text delay. Nine. It should be longer if the text is longer, but it's not that smart. Six seconds? Will that do it? Let's try. Commander, the council is requesting your attention. John has just tipped 9 dollars. This is a test donation for 9 dollars. That definitely seems to be hanging out longer. Uh, you know what? I'm real generous. Let's go for like 9 seconds. How about we try that? I'm a generous guy. Commander, the council is requesting your attention. Okay, I don't think he actually cares. I, mean, John has just I don't think it's changing. <laughs> This is a test donation for 18 dollars. Alert text delay. Oh, is that just the delay before it like reads it in the Italian voice? Is what I'm changing actually? Commander, the council is requesting your attention. Yes, it totally is. Okay, never mind. John has just tipped 69 dollars. This is a test donation for 69 dollars. 60. I I missed that. Okay. Um Alert duration, 12 seconds. I don't know how to make the text hang on longer, though. Text animation. Oh my god, I can make it bounce? Wiggle? I gotta try this, hang on. Commander, the council is requesting your attention. That didn't do anything. What the fuck? John has just tipped 16 dollars. This is a test donation for 16 dollars. This is bullshit. Okay, never mind that. Fade in animation. Fade out animation. Fade out big. What? A, zoom in. Bounce in. Fade out. What if I go light speed in? 
<laughs> light. R roll in, light speed out. I've never really played of any of this shit, so we're gonna see it now, chat. Commander, the council is requesting your attention. It's not doing anything. Okay, this is like changing something else. John has just tipped 37 dollars. <laughs> This is a test donation for 37 dollars. Whatever this is, it's it's not changing this. You have the title and cover freaking out. Okay, I don't think I can make the text hang on longer. Yeah, because my alert box uses a custom animation, none of them work. Yeah. I don't think I don't think I can even make the text hang on longer, so. And let's go general settings. Alert delay. Alert moderation. Alert parries, huh? Custom bad words. I can put bold in here in the profanity filter. I'm just gonna leave it on that, I think. I don't want to spend all day doing this right now. Especially when I've got important customs work to do. My job is to survive a single customs raid at this point. That is my... My holy quest. Just one. Just a smidge of survival. It shouldn't be that hard. What I want, I want, I want AKSs. Get an AKS. Oh, and I can do a scav run too, that's right. We should do a scav run. So it was the... Which one of the AKSs was it? Looks like it's just whichever you can get cheapest at the time. Uh, which right now is... I'm going to spend some euros on this one. And then we go to the shit... We, we search for shit. I gotta get a new name. Um, but I'm going to put a suppressor on. Because, hey, you know that person who come killed me? They probably come looking for me because I wasn't using a suppressor. Huh? That's probably what happened. 80k. Shit sub AK. There we go. Do you have a gold watch and you're about to sell? I do. I do, thank goodness. And these PBSs come down pretty cheap at times. Boop. We'll do another one of these runs and I'll do a scab run after if I die again. Which, I mean, I very likely will. But yeah, we can sell all this stuff, so that's nice. Which means I gotta put my uh, splint back in my butt again. This is where we bring a really shitty splint, so that we don't feel bad and we throw it away to put more valuable loot in there. And usually, I don't. Usually, I find I don't need to like use the multiple splints in a raid. It's very rare. Usually, you're just like dead anyway, so like meds are irrelevant. But um, but in general, I find I rarely need the multi splint, even when I do get injured. I usually find like I have one fracture. Okay, stuff some more PP in my butt. Ooh, don't say that, Beagle. Don't say, don't say that. That's a silly thing to say. Okay, and have another flashbang too. Let's go back to customs. And let's change the song before I lose my mind. I wish they hadn't made insurance so much more expensive. It's really annoying. I feel like insurance was already kind of like annoying sometimes. It's getting dangerous because of being a silly stream. It doesn't matter. This stream can be whatever it likes. This stream is like when you tell your child you can be the president one day. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Words don't matter. You can just do whatever you want. Whatever music do I got? Something chill and ambient is good. This is not that playlist, I've just realized. This is my Can You Feel My Heart playlist for intros. Oh, fuck. What else can I put on? My Winamp has all the ambience. Maybe I should just put Winamp on. Spotify. Spotify is set up for, like, the actual music I like to listen to, but then in practice... I'm gonna, I'm gonna close it. In practice, I don't like having music on while I'm streaming and talking that has words in it for obvious reasons. Even if I'm going to tell myself I won't care about it, it still annoys me. But Winamp is like all my ambient shit. Oh, and you get your old favorites, like fucking Heat Signature. Yes! I love Heat Signature. Heat Signature has awesome music. While I'm waiting for the queue here, thanks to Camelot for the 65 month sub, t 5 for the 55 month sub, MGP919 subscribed. And uh, Major Danvers, 46 months, thank you very much. Dr. Danger, gifted the sub to Death by Thirth. Thank you, Dr. Danger, very generous of you. Jabinator, 21 months sub, thank you. Uh, and Troublesome Taffer, 44 months, thank you so much for that. Appreciate all that. Thank you, Nix, for the 83 months sub. 
that piece of gold for the nine month sub. Thank you. Congrats on your sub, baby. Lucky Mauler, 40 month sub. Max EC, 20 month sub. And thank you, Dr. Danger, for the $5. T Goat for the $10. Sci Fi Matic for the $5. Brit for the $5. And Cliche420 donated $100 again. Thank you very much for those. I appreciate it. I'm gonna have to add like a thing down the bottom that says like donations are read in Italian. <laughs> I have to like f I have to get like a sign out front of my shop that like funnels people to donate rather than sub. We're on live talk up, we are. Oh I can't turn this up and down. Hang on, what the fuck is happening? Oh shit. Ah. Oh shit, fuck. Oh I've got this music stuck on this whole raid, fuck. Oh, it's because I had the Spotify thing up and my shortcuts have been stolen. Now I can't- Oh, fuck. Maybe I'll die quick. This music's really loud. I can't hear anything. I got a tab, but I don't want to right now. I'm busy trying to get the intel folder. Folder. Fuck yes, that's actually a really good pickup. So even if I die, I just made money on this run. Fuck yeah. I like that. I like that. That feels good. That feels good. I don't think there's any more intel here to grab. But that shit's very expensive, so we always check. It's a bug on my offline where I like instantly step back in, but I guess on online it isn't. Interesting. Okay. What do I do now? Do I wait for someone? I tab. I tab and I turn the music down. And I try to turn off Toastify. Toastify, where are you, you piece of shit? It's like disappeared like a little fucking worm into my taskbar. Oh my god, where is it? It's really disappeared. Fucking thing? Are you serious? Oh, I hate this thing. There we go, I exited. Okay, now I, can, I have control. No, what the fuck? Ah, fuck it. Right, we're gonna get moving. Oh. Ooh. We're gonna get looting at least. Hey, what, what's up? Sore leg? I don't know, but she was like drenched when she came in. But I don't know why she's gonna sort of like no. I'll fix my music after this. but I think they might have been up the stairs. I can't hear anything. I gotta turn the damn music off, I can't hear anything. Oh, 
Oh, I can't squeeze through there. I just want to squeeze through there, but I can't. Alright, now remember, Beagle, doesn't matter if you die. You've already made your money on the intel folder. I don't think they went upstairs because the door is still closed. So I think they're in the buses. My gun is on auto. So I probably go out through that right door and just like bum rush the buses. But then I'm definitely going to die. Am I? Maybe. Doesn't matter. Because I already have the intel folder. Or I just go out through the front door and go left. They're probably not waiting on that front door. Or well, there's no one there and I'm crazy. Oh, fucking bush. It's getting me stuck. Let's see. Okay, I'm going to keep going then. Stand me back. I gotta move my little PNG fella so you can see my stammy bar. Well, I mean, I don't have to, but it's an idea. I hate the bushes break your stamina now. I mean, break your sprint stride. You know that song that's like, enough, I'm gonna break my stride? Well, in Tarkov, a lot of things break your stride, actually. Just so you know. A lot of things do that. It sucks. Hmm. I think that's valuable. can go in the docks case. Oh shit, I'm so dumb, you're right. Thank you. Completely forgot that. It's been a while. Thank you. side is clear. Should let me come out on the right side. Well, the other side. It's not really the right. Enter in like this. That's been looted. Do I have old gas as an extract? Yeah, I can extract here. Oh. And that would achieve my objective of living through one customs raid. That would be... Guys, that would be really inspirational for me. That would be really awesome. Let's try that. Let's try to do that. We did it! We lived through a customs raid. And we made money because we didn't die. What a, what a nice time for me. That's a nice time for me. Yeah, thank you, horse. Thank you, blessed horse. Now I gotta fix my hotkeys so I can um, listen to music again on and off of hotkeys. 
That's right, not dying is important to make money, that's true, Vigilantia, because then you don't have to buy all your shit again, which is really good. Now let me fix my, my goddamn ship. So, I think I need to close and open Winamp, maybe. Is that gonna work? Yes! Okay, now I can turn my music on and off again, good. Good, 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 good. Move PNG, yeah, so you can see the stammy. Yeah, I should. playing Doom Eternal. We're playing Tarkov, Sammy. Apparently they put the ping limits up. Someone un unverified said they put the ping limits up for Tarkov. So, uh, you're gonna come play with me, right? I don't know. Do I even want to play with other people, though? I... <sighs> this is my rot day. I don't want to play with anyone else today. I don't want to, like... It's the pain of being known. I don't want to be known today. So maybe not today. You just keep, just keep, you can just keep playing Foxhole, Sammy. You don't have to That's all right, yeah. I changed my mind anyway. The pain of being known is too much for today. Gotta fill up my foodies and drinkies. You just racked up four vehicle kills in a fucking armored car. Good for you. Proud of you, Sambo. Good for you. That's some top work from you, champ. Let's sell that intel. How much is this? Oh, these have gone down. These used to be worth so much more, I swear. Well, what, what's the taxes if I sell it for this much? That's not the right price. 32k. Okay, so I'm getting 150k of profit off of that. What about this thing? I don't know, why, why the fuck are we paying euros for military gyro tachometers? What the hell is this? Can I just sell it for, for rubles? Like a normal scav? Yeah. Yeah, I straight up can. Boom. Boom, boom. I don't know what all that other shit is. I don't know what the euro is. That's scary to me. It's frightening. I don't know how to handle that. Okay, I need to buy some... Oh no, I have, I have Aquamaris, we're good. Alright, he's ready to go back out again, right? Yep, he is. Back out we go. Now that I have survived at least one customs raid, my next gamer goal is to kill at least one enemy player. That's my next goal, folks. 
kill one enemy PMC. You've got to start small with your goals when you're not in a good place. You've got to... You've got to set achievable goals. Killer fans is Icy Sunderlay? Oh no, yeah, I forgot. They're only adoring fans. But it's just like Airsoft. It's just like paintball. It's just like paintball. Okay, this, this game, what you don't understand is it's paintball. How else do you explain the fact that you play the same mercenary even after they die? It's paintball. It's not real. No one's actually dying. Yeah, it's just like laser tag. What the fuck is this? Hey, Cyclone. Consult the message in the bottom left, Cyclone. <laughs> they're just they're just robots. <laughs> Dan just says I want to play paintball now, but there's little goodies and snacks scattered around the play area. Oh man, like you're playing like paintball Tarkov. It's like airsoft Tarkov, where like you play it on like a thousand acre property. With, like, all these different areas set up, all these different maps, and you just wander the fuck around and camp and eat, and you, like, find ship, and if you bring it back to, like, the in the center, the central traders area in the middle where, like, the event is, like, housed from, you can, like, give certain items for certain prices for little, like, fun bucks that you can get, like, better airsoft markers for. <laughs> it's just, like, one of, it's one of those, like, um, big milsim, like, camping events they do, but it's Tarkov game set up instead. So you, it's set up for like being solo and scabbing around, meeting other people and not killing them maybe. You know, that's something interesting I read about the new, um, I really want to try the new fucking COD DMZ thing. I read that you can like add people to it. No wait, I said this on stream already though, like I've already said this on stream. Didn't I? Maybe I didn't. Are you feeling better? Thank you, I appreciate that. Anyway, for those of you who weren't there for when I said that, I'm saying it again. Apparently in the new DMZ COD thing, someone said you can like... There's a way to, like, recruit enemies you kill to be part of your party, and I think that's really awesome. Like, like mid-match. Like, not as in, like, you added the friends. Like, actually, like, there's a way to, like, kill people and then, like, tag your it, add them to your team for the rest of the round. I think that sounds fucking awesome. Hey, maybe if you want to play something co-op after this raid. Thank you, Cyclone. I'm probably going to end up, um, maybe playing something with Jem instead, though. I'm, I'm, me and Jem have been playing Arcage on this private server. Uh, maybe, maybe I'll play that with her. For a bit as well. Maybe. For Moyen says is what I think is happening is people found that by selling something for Euros it makes it seem cheaper. Yeah, but also I won't buy it because fuck transferring into Euros. And also I know that Euros aren't cheaper, but yeah, it does make it seem cheaper. I guess hit my beanie off so I can hear better. I'm not doing so bad. I could have killed that guy in the first round. I've only played like three matches. I've just been slow today. I've played like a... Uh, I got like two matches an hour going right now. Because I've just been fucking around with shit. My stash and workshopping and, and my stream set up. Barker voices, I'm sure they won't get toxic at all. It sounds awesome. Literal scamming is what that is. Is what what is. Oh, the Euro thing. Yeah. <laughs> Well, no. If you don't know the conversion rate of euros, that's not a scam, is it? Makes it harder to undercut you though in rubles because you have to know like the. It's just annoying. Overall, it's annoying to have to use euros. Fuck it. Oh, Intel again. Gamers, LFG, let's fucking go. I'm pretty sure people can like spawn right on you here and it terrifies me, but whatever. In we go. guy's crying because there's no XCOM. Evil guy, what if I name my AK after you? Will you be happy? The 
more intel, that would be dope, but unfortunately there's no more intel in here today. Saliwa! Kalokbi! Morphine! Loon up here is a good way to get snuck up on because I the sound is so broken in this fucking game that I can't hear anything below me right now. If anyone's below me, I cannot hear them in this game. This game is insanely broken with sound. So we just have to uh, run at them. Uh, 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 could be right there. You would never know. Okay, they're not there. Good. Scary! Put the morphine there. Right, that'll do it. Um, same thing again. Go that way. Yeah, go that way. Same thing again. We can loot the ground floor. Vermoin says only for some parts of the map. I think Crackhouse is fine, but Fortress is completely fucked. No. Crackhouse is fucked too. It's like any... It's like any... Floor elevation change. You know? If you're on a first story in a building, you can't hear second story, or... Well, if you're on second story, you can't hear below you. You can't hear, like, building floors below you in this game for some fucked up reason, like, at all. Wait, there's loot here? Oh, there's loot here. Um, sometimes it works over around, so upstairs- downstairs going here, upstairs too. Okay. I don't know, it's crazy. Like, this game is crazy. This game is so crazy. Insane game. I thought there was some that was fine. I don't know. In my experience, it's any building. Like, any, like, this is a building building is just fucked. Interesting. That person's not my friend. change my what did I change my little leans to fuck oh, I don't know what my little baby leans are now shit or can you just not lean in this stance you just can't lean in the stance never mind I feel like someone's gonna come through here this is a bad place to be though anyway even if they did that's an awful place to engage from but I want to leave fuck I fucked this up while I was holding there, I should have waited. Okay, now I'm gonna run. Okay. lean like crash yeah that was it I was in the other lean which you can't then double lean on top of the uh, sidestep lean ah, there's a little piece of fluff on my mouse it's killing me what is that Get off my mouse pad. Ugh. Oh, it's back! What? Ah! I think I got rid of it. It's back! It's back again! Also, where's the stash here? There it is. Motherfucker, like right behind me. Oh god.
He was deeply haunted. Do you guys ever get that with your mouse pad where it's like... There's like an annoying little bit of fluff. Or dust or something and you just can't get rid of it. Am I crazy? I'm crazy. No, everyone, sa everyone says no. Okay, I'm, just, I'm just crazy. Apparently I'm just filthy because I have like a piece of like laundry lint stuck in my mouse pad. That's a me problem. I feel it again. What is that? It was a hair. It was a little hair. I got rid of it this time. Why is your mouse pad generating? F oh! It was just a scab. It was just like a scab spawning. It wasn't a PMC aiming at me. It was just a fucking scab spawning in. I guess. It sounded like a PMC aiming at me, but I guess it wasn't. Okay. Just a scab. It's just a scab, folks. Oh, there's someone on the other side of the fucking thing, though. On the other side of this fence, right there. It's just a scav. It is just a scav. I'm freaking myself out for nothing. Unless it's a player scav. No. Oh! There's someone else there though. Do I have like any loot? Like some stuff. I guess I could just leave. The extract is right there. I don't really have a lot of loot, but fuck it. There's no reason not to, I guess. I mean, I don't have like a lot of profit, but dying just loses everything. It feels, feels kind of wrong though to extract like this little shit. When I spawn on that intel place, I need to go like on. Do I need to go on like a different part of the map to get back more caches? Yes, yeah, that's like a, such a pure rat extract. I didn't even loot the guy because I had someone else coming. Super scared. But yeah, I mean, extracting him any profit is a free raid. That's right. There's really never any downside to extracting. Because you can just queue back in and then go get more loot. Yeah, this team's talk was about fast raids. Yeah, it is. Maybe the fact that that, that extract feels bad to me is why I'm poor right now. <laughs> Can you get merged in the attraction room? If they're camping. I think that's what it's queue times? Yeah. Just get all this shit out. Yeah, free shit. Free shit is free shit. I like freaked out on those scavs though. You feeling better? No. I'm feeling the same. Thanks for asking. Yeah, I don't know why I was so panicked from those scabs, because I thought they were players.
Not even that scary. What am I gonna, what am I gonna lose this AK? I don't know why I'm so scared. It's it's I know I'm scared because it's conditioning. I have like no real good reasons to be scared in these raids. Like the gear is worthless. Um it's really just conditioning. I have um mental conditioning. Dying feels bad. Yeah, but it's like it's not even that. Like this is like the degree to which I'm panicking on like basic scabbies there is like that's like trauma, man. That's like talk of trauma. That's like having played the game for a couple of years and compounding, compounding like talk of specific like trauma against players specifically because I've played offline talk of shitloads against scavs that have way better aim, that have like player like aim, and they don't scare me. So um. So that's how I know, like, it's not even about dying or facing enemies that have good aim. It's just literally being scared of other people. It's like, uh, it's like talk of trauma. That's, that's the kind of scare that can only come from being, like, an, uh, an, inf an inferiority complex in FPS, uh, as I have developed over, like, six years. Being like, oh my god, a player, I'll definitely die. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, another human. I'm, I'm certainly subpar. It's, it's like sub mindset. The submissive mindset, it's terrible. It's so terrible. I used to have a I used to have a dom mindset for FPS games. It's such a better way to live. Now I now I've been <laughs> Now I've fallen to the sub mindset for the past few years. It's terrible. Ever since I played that fucking comp PUBG man. Alright, oh, pretty good. I know! Like Like when I'm not tilting myself by being too scared, I am decent at shooters. I know. That's right, Beagle used to think he was a god and played well. Now he is timid and humble and plays terribly. It's really on the mind. No, it is, for sure. For sure. When I was, like, wildly overconfident, I played much better. When I was younger, I was wildly overconfident about myself. I played much, much better at games. Um, and honestly did better in life. Folks, I've said this before and I'll say it again. When, you know, you're, you're gonna, like, hit a point in your life where you, like, stop being such a dickhead if you're young, hopefully. And you're gonna, like, become self-aware. Um, and you're gonna realize, like, man, I should be, like, kinder to others. I should be, like, aware of my obnoxious qualities. All this shit. Um, but it's a fucking scam. Like, it's great for everyone else. Like, you should do it for everyone else's sake. Like, it's great. You're a better person than everyone else when you're not, like, a selfish narcissist who's overconfident. Um... It's, it's great for everyone else, it's horrible for you. Because you're gonna be racked by anxiety all the time of, like, how you treat others. Oh, fuck. Um, you're gonna, like, have to think and have stress all the time about, like, oh, how should I handle this? You know, how do I make other people around me feel better? How do I minimize the harm I deal to others? And you're also gonna be like, oh, I'm not, like, the best at everything. Like, I can fail. And, like, I'm not special or gifted. Like, oh, shit, like... Things can just go wrong for me, and I can just be, like, inferior to others. And that's just terrible, honestly. It sucks. It's so much easier and better to just be a fucking dickhead who thinks you're the protagonist of life. Uh, and just doesn't really put, like, a ton of effort into caring about the feelings of others. Oh, man, it's so much easier. It's so much easier. I swear. And you'll just play games? Oh, man. The confidence, as they say the phrase, the confidence of a white man. The confidence of a young white man. It's unbeatable. The, the chat's right. Himbo is the healthy step. Because once you've become, like, self-aware enough that you want to be horrible to other people and you want to be, like, considerate of others, you can't really go back to, like, being a, an arsehole to everyone and, like, feel good about it. But chat's right, you can't- being a himbo is like the healthy version of that, I guess. Being a himbo is just like, don't think, just do whatever, just do what feels good. But like, in a- well, like in a renewable way, you know? Like, and caring about the feelings of others. SBS says this is why- this is why a VTuber is good, because you just claim it's the VTuber being in the asshole. Oh my god, that's like what? Be that sounds like being a ventriloquist. A VTuber ventriloquist, which brings up people talking about VTuber ventriloquism the other day. Which was so weird and I still don't understand it.
The little wolf is an asshole, not me. Inside me there are two wolves. I am a furry. Like, here's the thing, right? I like, as a little, I don't want to say the full thing, but as a little submissive Tarkov player, and I have a lot of experience with both sides, because I've played as just like a, a no-brained Chad in other FPS games, and in Tarkov a bit too, when I can get myself going for it. And, and I've also just played as like a very, very submissive, like tactical little scared rat, okay? I've done both. And I'm honestly, you're more successful as like an idiot. You are more successful- I- I am more successful as an idiot in this game than I am as, like, a ta a submissive tactical thinker. Straight up. There's a guy there. Oh, what?! <laughs> Could see the top of my head. Could see the top of my head over that fucking thing. Fuck. I thought too much there. I didn't run towards them. I let them run towards me. Yeah, I, I got, like, just clapped on the top of the head. What was that, a fucking shotgun, though? Huh? What? 12.7 millimeter buckshot. Top of the head. You lack. Huh? What? That's not... What? 7 millimeter block- oh, that- that- block shot. Blunt damage. Blunt damage. I died to- Wait, so where did I die? In the thorax? I don't get it. How the fuck did I die to that? He hit me in the thorax, but I was crouched. I'd been crouched for a second, so that got- To hit me in the thorax... That is, um... It means he killed you by the pass of damage to your helmet. Oh, okay. He hit me with so much buckshot in my helmet, it still killed me. That's crazy. I think it was a bit of desync too, I don't know, because I got hit in the torso, but... Was that just, like, blunt passed around? No, it says collateral, right? Doesn't it say collateral? When it gets passed around? And you can't get collateral through your head anyway, because you're fucking dead. I think that was just hella decent, because I've been crouched for a fucking second. <laughs> I think I just got desynced. To get hit in the thorax like that. Anyway, as I was saying, um... Yeah. Being an idiot, I do much better in this game. But that's the fucked up thing about this game, is you'd think then it's easy just be an idiot, but I can't. Like, it's like when people say, like, just stop doing, like, your, your addiction or stop doing your habit. Like, I can't. It's a mental problem. I have talk of mental problems. Had them for years. I literally cannot. I physically cannot do it. Buck shows 8x39 damage, so I guess the blunt damage comes through your helmet. I, I guess... I, no, no, it was decent. They were hitting the fucking thorax. It was decent as well. But I don't know. Ever way crazy shit. Put this on. Oh, I meant to get like an armor repair kit now, right? That's like the new thing. It was a helmet hit. Well, I don't know understand what the fuck is going on there, because it, then it would be a helmet hit. <laughs> then it would be a helmet hit that also hit my torso at that range, which is fucking insane. So the game just broke. I'm not thinking about that anymore. Game is just broken for that one. Nothing about that makes sense. I would need, like, talk of Mythbusters forensics to understand how I died there. The torso hit could be a ricochet off your helmet? What? What do you mean? 
it might have been like two or three shots on his screen. That makes more sense, yeah. With desync to the level it would have had to be for me to die the way I did there. He probably like shot me a bunch of times. You're actually right, yeah. Just crazy desync is probably the answer. So the Eco 74 build you're using anyway, it's just cheap. It's like best bang for buck I can do without like putting actual modding into it, basically. And it's not even it's not even that good, but the thing is like it's not even that cost effective, but like my traders are all really low level, so I can't really buy anything good anyway. So I'm just like I'm doing the best I can with trash. I guess is the way to put it. I need a backpack. And I need a helmet. Ratnik, it's- Whoa, no one is selling these, huh? Interesting. The fuck happened to the flea market? Is this what people mean by it's dead on Australia? But the, I think the flea market's international, or is meant to be. See you later. Hopefully next come to your stream tomorrow. Probably not. Sorry, bud. But I am probably going to play some Arcage in like half an hour of Jamble. If she's interested. Definitely if I keep doing badly at this. Where's what I want? I want a... It's called Burkett. I want a Burkett bag. I'm so good at reading. Where is Burkett? Is Burkett gone? No, it's... Where was that? Oh, it's right down the bottom. Because it's called WARTECH in caps. And I missed that. Ooh, my, my beezies. My beezies. Let's go. What would a shit-brained idiot do? A shit-brained idiot would try to get in PvP. Maybe by trying to get in PvP, I will kill the people around me and thus have an easier raid. No, you probably won't play it anytime soon, but do you look at any ter Terraria update at all? Um, no, I love Terraria, but no, I, I haven't. I've loved playing Terraria in the past, but I'm... No, I haven't. I don't keep up with that. I don't play it anymore. Banza says this will not work because you started a conclusion of maybe. Yeah, I, I don't know. Like I said, I can't. I can't be a shit-brained idiot. I can't do it. I mean, I, I am, but in a different way. I can't be like a himbo idiot in Tarkov. The, the only way I can do it is using pistols. If I use pistols... I play way better, because I'm just running around like a psycho. How can I trick myself into thinking that I am... That this AK is a pistol, and that my body armor is a parka, and I'm not wearing a helmet? How do I trick myself into thinking that? Because I always play better that way. The other thing that helps a lot too is being able to fucking sprint anywhere, but um... They just keep nerfing like your ability to like have any stamina, and I'm low level, and I have no sprint. But maybe I should just stop wearing armor. Or stop wearing helmets. Cut down my weight a bit. These these ceramics are incredibly fucking heavy too. Maybe if I go a bit lighter, I can like be a bit quieter. I mean uh, well quieter too, but um be a bit faster. Cause I hate feeling so slow and sluggish. And they've added like stamina cost to everything. Crouching costs a big chunk of stamina, jumping always did. Um I feel like stopping and starting takes so long. I just feel so slow. I want to be, like, fast. I want to, like, rotate on people. Yeah, music during raid. Music during raid is good. What music? I like this track.
Vigilante says other VTubers are fast because their max strength odds are other VTubers. <laughs> Why did you say VTubers specifically? Taco doesn't sound like a particularly relaxing game. Oh, like, I'm not anxious anymore. Like, it's good for that. My mood has improved playing Tarkov. It's not, like, stressful for me. I've done this so many times at this point. It's not stressful. Un until I'm... Until I'm playing against other players. But then, like, it's not, like, long-term stress, I think, so much as it's just, like, I play bad. I freeze. I meant streamers. <laughs> yeah. Take off your contacts. You can't hear anyone. There's nobody to fear. Oh, my God. MJP says, I don't remember if it still applies, but there's no real point to wearing level 4 armor. Wrong. I think that's wrong. So you don't have any real blade points of it? Yeah, like, um... Okay, maybe not this. Maybe not at this point in the wipe. I mean, it stops scavs too, but I guess you can get away with that in class 3. I could wear that shitty propane trade crap armor, but, um... I feel like there's still good breakpoints for class 4 this wipe. I feel like it's actually, like, the main armor to wear, even later on. Just no good shot. I mean, that's the key. Having, like, some light anti-buckshot armor, well, doesn't matter for that last death, but against Scav, like, having some light anti-buckshot armor and then just not getting shot by players is, like, actually, like, a smart idea, because you will usually die to players even with armor, unless it's, like, really high tier armor. But I don't know, I haven't played enough, like, at this point in the wipe, I haven't played for months, so I don't know what kind of ammo people are using a lot. I mean, I got p 90 I think that P90 is stopped by class 4 a bit. I got PBP'd before, that's what, a goal McNineman? I don't know how that works. Everything by the numbers. We feel better, thank you, champ. 